and a, a nip only uh, just one second off the pace. Hang so on far. a second. Was that Acker in the background there firing onto the grass? It could have There been. was a car just taking off right behind Stuart Appleby. I reckon Acker was trying to warm the tyres and has ended up straight onto the infield. There he is. What on earth is going on here? He talks the talk, but he's not walking the walk. Have a look at the rear of it. It's punched the rear window out. That is really, really strange. He's ended up on the infield over towards the other part of the racetrack that runs parallel. A bit of damage on the rear wing. The car may have even gone over onto its roof. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say what's happened there to Jason, but um, hopefully he's all, all is well. Well, he's just trying to get some tyre temperature in the warm-up. Here we go. He's already off the road, barrel rolling. Now, I know Ackermanis likes to get headlines, but this is going too far. I've seen That's him unbelievable. I've seen him do the handstand on the ground before. Here we go. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. He's just lost it. And it's dug in, and the bulldog has been bitten and barrel rolled it. Now, Rodney E gave him the all clear to come and do this, but I don't think he expected that something like that could happen. No, it doesn't look like he was doing anything drastically wrong. He was just uh, weaving and getting the tyres warm, which is what we do in every category before a race, get a lot of try and get some temperature into the tyres. And uh, unfortunately, it's just bitten in and put him on the wet grass, and the rest was history.